Do you mind if we go out to dinner? I don't feel like cooking. Let's go. One minute I think we shouldn't go any further with this, and the next minute I think we should. What about cars? Don't people do it in cars? Carbon monoxide poisoning? Isn't that supposed to be painless? Uh, we don't have a car. Maybe we could rent one. Or borrow one. Think how simple it would be. All she'd have to do is sit there. Oh, that's terrific. Where should we do this? Fifth Avenue? I guess we could always drive her to Brooklyn in the middle of the night. Betty, we don't drive. What is the matter with us? Stupid people figure out how to make people die every day of the week. Why can't we? What about a gun? It's quick. Can you see Ida with a gun? Can you imagine her pulling the trigger? What about arsenic? Arsenic? I've thought about arsenic. She can't swallow a pill. I guess that lets out cyanide, too, huh? Betty, Ida jumps out the window. <laughs> Dumps herself in the microwave. Or well, she hits us up on top of the head with the microwave. Goldman today for mothers. He said that thing inside of her is growing bigger. And the bigger it gets, the more it'll hurt. She won't be able to eat or drink, and she'll get dehydrated again. Dr. Goldman says we don't want her to die of dehydration. You slip into a coma. And it can take days, even weeks, until you die. 